Good morning guys, today is registration day. And what does that mean? Well, it means the old Mopar registration runs out. Now here in New Brunswick, they don't run out on the last day of the month, they run out on a specific day. So the old Mopar ran out on the 15th of June, sorry, or the 15th of May. And my wife's van runs out on the 11th of June. So if I have to make a trip to motor vehicle, I'm going to make the most of it and do them both at once. The only issue that I came across is I was looking for a proof of insurance card for my wife's van and I dug around in there and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to have to call the insurance company and get them to send one out to me at the shop. And uh, early this morning we'll take a trip down to motor vehicle see if we can't get this looked, looked after. So I hate motor vehicle. Hate's a strong word. Although I do feel strongly about going into motor vehicle, hate's not the word to use. There's got to be something in the English language that means extreme dislike, but sounds a lot more pleasant. Like bubbles. I really bubbles service in Brunswick. I really bubbles the motor vehicle department. Man, what a gorgeous day. I'm supposed to get up into the 80s today. Looking forward to that. But for now, we bought yesterday. We picked up our headlight assembly. For a good customer of ours. And uh, he's having problems with his, one of his headlights fogging up on him. So he bought a new headlight. And uh, Jim is a good customer of ours, you know, between him and his family. Uh, so him, his wife, his daughter, one of his sons. Uh, we've probably sold five or six vehicles to that family. So we're pretty excited that, uh, that we have customers who keep coming back uh, that trust us. And, uh, you know, even after the sale. So we'll give him a call, let him know that his headlight's in. And uh, we'll get that booked so that we can get him fixed up and uh, back on the road again. And guys, once again, don't forget, put July 15th on your calendar. If you are in the St. Stephen to St. George Penfield area, there is a car show. Last year, there was almost 300 cars there. So if you've got a vehicle that you want to put in, just give me a shout. I can hook you up with a registration form. And uh, so email me. That email will be in the description below. So we are taking the shop truck down to my dad's house to get the plow hooked up because it is going out today. So we also got to surrender the place. That's why I've got a dealer tag. We got to hang off of it. And this is the last time I'll get to drive the old girl. Yeah, I'm going to miss this truck. So we're just pulling into dad's place here to pick up the plow for the truck and I'm not rightly sure where it is because it's usually sitting right there. My guess is it's in front of the garage. And all we gotta do is get lined up. Little bit closer. And there we go. I wonder how funny it's going to look driving through town with a plow on the truck. It's almost June. I really don't care, I guess. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It is another great spring morning and today we've got the 14 Mazda 6. So guys, this morning I am trying out a new app from Tim Hortons and what the app allows me to do is place my order, pay for it, and that way all I have to do is walk into the restaurant and pick it up. It'll be ready for me. So 
I live about two or three minutes away from the local Tim Hortons and I don't have to wait in line. I can just walk in and pick it up. So I'm about ready to place my order. All I have to do is hit the confirm button. And it says, thank you, your order has been placed. So in case I didn't know how to get to my local Tim Hortons, it tells me how to get there. Let's go pick up the order and see how we make out. So I must admit that was probably one of the most painless visits to Tim Hortons ever. I, uh, I walked in and uh, I told them I had an online order. I had it sitting right there with my order number on it. Passed it to me and out I went. So for the most part, I walked in, grabbed it and walked out. So there is no sponsorship here by no means, but um, pretty handy app. So if you guys have the opportunity to take advantage of it, download the Tim Hortons app. Well, good morning, guys. We are on our way to St. John today, and we're on our way to St. John for a couple of reasons. One is to do a um, is to do a run for my wife. So I'm just on my way down. I'm going to meet her, pick her up. Another reason is because we've bought ourselves something new, not new, new, but fairly new that we've never had before. A 2016 GMC Yukon SLT. And it is loaded. It is a very nice vehicle. And a business friend of mine in town is uh, is looking to trade his 2011 Yukon. And we've worked out the deal. He's given me a pretty substantial down payment. I've bought the vehicle and it's been delivered. So we are going up there today. We're going to pick it up. And the reason why we're going to St. John to pick it up is because I can save myself about 100 bucks in uh, transportation costs if I pick it up in their yard as opposed to them come the extra hour to St. Stephen because they don't come down here that often so uh, and I have no problem doing that I'm up for saving 100 bucks I'm sure my customer is as well so uh, that's the purpose of this trip today it's kind of twofold and uh, we're on our way there now I should be picking up my wife at the uh, turn off because she's at the campground and I had to go into town so rather than make a trip back into the campground she's just going to meet me at the highway in Parker Van. So that's what we're doing, that's what's going on and next time I see you we'll be pulling into the transportation company's lot and picking up a Yukon. So we are just pulling up to the transport company getting ready to pull in There goes the groceries in the truck. <laughs> Guess who's on camera? Yeah. Dirt bag. <laughs> I got him, I got him. <laughs> content, honey, content. I'll give you content, all right. <laughs> Husband beats wife on camera. Right here. Oh, God. <laughs> Fruit loop. Oh, I see it from here. Bring it over here. Almost got a brand new trailer. So this is the beast. Look at them wheels. 22 inch Bridgestones. She's not that dirty either. Well, the keys aren't where they said it was going to be. Oh, this ticks me off when they tell you they're going to do something they don't do it. So, apparently the key was supposed to be in the driver's side strut so I could reach up in and grab it. Not there. So after panicking for a little bit, I look in here. There it is. Nicely leathered up. Oh my God. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 
we will just set that there. All right, I'll start this beast up. Half tank of gas, which is more than enough to get us home. So, away we go. So as we get into this 2016 Yukon, the uh, couple of the first things that I notice when I get in is not simply just how comfortable these seats are, but how much technology is in this vehicle. It's got lane departure warning, it's got brake assist, it's got satellite radio and all these other you know, gadgets, heated, cooled seats, all this sort of thing. And uh, I'm not going to play around with them while I'm driving, obviously, because it's a hazard, but um, I do have the heated steering wheel, which I think is amazing, but even though it's not that cold out today. But uh, we're just merging onto the, onto the highway here. we got lots of gas, so we don't have to stop and get any gas on the way home. Let's enjoy this ride and enjoy the power of luxury. So for those of you not familiar with lane departure warning, this vehicle is basically steering itself within the lines of the highway. And uh, it'll just weave over and the steering corrects itself. And as you can see, I'm not even touching the steering wheel. I want to, because <laughs> it's actually quite uncomfortable. <laughs> but nevertheless, it's a pretty cool feature and you barely notice it even when you're holding onto the steering wheel, but man, what a weird feeling just to let it do its own thing. So I want to see just how much power this thing has. for a vehicle of its weight. I don't know how much these things weigh without looking them up, but if I had to guess, I'd probably say they're somewhere around three tons or 6,000 pounds, 6,500 pounds, maybe, I don't know. They're, they're a big, heavy vehicle. I'm not sure you can get chirp of tires from a dead stop. new ride. Whoa, this thing is big. Huh? Yeah, I look good driving this. Hey guys, another video has come to an end. I hope you really enjoyed this one, the little review that we've had on the GMC Yukon and saying goodbye to the shop truck. So Adios GMC Sierra and we can't wait to see what the new shop truck is going to be and what it's going to bring So guys, I really hope you enjoy watching if you haven't already Please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification beside it. That way, you know when I post a new video Thanks again so much for tuning in and we will see you in the next upload